Hey guys, it's May May, and you would have seen from the thumbnail, we're going to make a briefcase gift card pop-up. Now, the reason you see it from the thumbnail is because I don't have one completed yet. I've worked on a prototype, and it's not pretty, but this is the idea. It looks like a little briefcase. We're going to switch it up a little bit as far as the decor, but it'll slide up, and it'll pull a gift card out, which is really cool. So, we'll show you that as we get going. So, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is cut seven and a quarter by five and a half. This is gonna be your briefcase. So if you want a brown one or whatever, this is the color you want to adjust, okay? So we're gonna do this and we're gonna score it in lots of places. So from my prototype, I discovered that I needed to do the pocket in a real pocket. And I'll explain that in a second. But that's why you'll notice that this cardstock is really wide, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score it at half an inch on one side. This is with the five and a half inch in our scoreboard, okay? Then we're gonna come out and score it at five inches. That's the sides of our briefcase. Now I'm gonna turn it and I'm only gonna score it in two places. I'm gonna score it at two and then at five and that gets us started. Now to turn this into the briefcase, we've got to do some trimming. So I told you I needed to make a, tr a real pocket, not just glue this shut. I'll explain that as we get going, but we're gonna need this little flap to make our real pocket. Notice that you have a shorter piece scored here. This is your two inch piece, and this piece is a quarter of an inch longer. This is the front of the briefcase. This is the flap of the top of the briefcase. We don't wanna mess with the flap. We don't wanna mess with the body. We're gonna trim from here, okay? That'll make sense in a second. I'm gonna come here. This score line that I have right here and all the way up needs to go away. So I'm gonna trim it, just snip into where they intersect. You can see there where they intersect. And then I'm gonna trim all of that away. I know it seems crazy, but for me to get the most seamless look and to get the best roomiest pocket for the gift card, this is how it works. Feel free to adjust this. You know, when you're doing these at home, if you go, you know what, this is an easier way for me, do that. Do whatever's easiest for you. But you can see here what we're getting. The two and a quarter inch side is the one I'm leaving the flap and then I'm trimming that section away. Do the same thing on this end. Now, just because this is habit for me, I like to take some of the bulk out of this area. When you fold this over and fold this up, you can get bulky right here. So what I do is I just take my little snips and make a slight angle trim there. Let me bring this up so you can see what I've done. See how I've got a tr an angle on one side and not on the other? So just a little angle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just take some of that weight out on that little piece right there. So now we have those little angle cuts in there. Perfect, let's do all our, full, our folding and creasing. So I'm gonna fold these guys in and crease this down. And I can see that I didn't get a very clean trim right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. Sort of be nice and square when we get to it. Now I'm gonna fold this guy in, crease him down nice. Now here's what I meant by that bulk. This is that area that can get bulky. If we don't do that little angle cut, when we go to fold this, it can kind of resist. But by doing the angle cut, it takes that resistance out and so we can get a nice flat fold. So I'm gonna fold that up like so. And then I'm gonna flip this guy down. This is the top flap of the briefcase. And crease it. So we're getting somewhere. That's the beginnings of it. Now the next thing I did, and this is totally optional, is I did a bunch of corner rounding. So these corners, I'm I'm punching with my quarter inch corner rounder, just the quarter, the one quarter of an inch size. So you can see we've got nice rounded edges. Then I opened this flap, and just because I thought it would look good, I also rounded it. So this is the beginnings of our briefcase. Now what we want is to be able to open this and have that pull out piece. So we need to create that now. Now for the inside flap that's gonna pull our gift card up whenever our dad or the recipient lifts the lid on the briefcase, we need a piece that is three and a quarter by three and three quarters. So it's actually three and three quarters by three and one quarter. And we're gonna score this on the shorter side. See how this is the three and a quarter side? That's what we wanna put in the top of our scoreboard, okay? And we're going to score it at half an inch and then at two and three fourths. That's the two score marks we want. Half an inch, it's actually half an inch in and half an inch in, but if you lay it in your scoreboard, it's half an inch and two and three fourths, okay? Then what I wanna do, and it doesn't matter which end because this is a solid piece of paper, I'm gonna fold one end up and crease it. That's gonna be the piece that holds the gift card in place. Then the other piece I'm gonna fold back, and this is gonna be the piece that glues to the top 
to help it pull up whenever you open the flap. So basically, you'll fold one facing you and one away from you. Make sense? Kind of like a Z. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to start assembling. So the first thing we're going to do to assemble is we're going to seal this guy closed. And this is where we're going to use these flaps we created. So I'm going to add some glue to these little guys. Just scratching that glue around, get a good coat, but not too much. Go. And then I'm going to seal that shut. And if it's a little loose, that's fine because it'll actually, the, a little bit of give in there is good if it, you know, gives it some room for that piece to slide in and out. So you don't want it to be like super, super flat. So you can see how I have a little give in there. That's good. That's also why we had to do those flap style pocket instead of just gluing this straight shut. When I tried this and glued it straight shut, it tore away because there was too much resistance, but this worked perfect. Okay, now we need to put this part in. We're going to take the little gift card rider, that's what I'm going to call it because the gift card is going to ride right here, with the flap facing us, the one that's facing up, that goes right inside our pocket, just like that, okay? Then, this flap we have folded back, we're going to glue onto the top, but let me show you where you want to glue it. So, I've zoomed in real close. You want to glue this flap, this edge of this flap, to right above that score line. Don't cross the score line because then you'll get resistance when you try to close it. You want it to go right above that score line. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to open this up, put some glue onto this flap. You have to be a little, you know, you have to be a little acrobatic here. The reason is you, the way we're having to build the card, but it's really no big deal to do. So once I've got my glue there, I'm gonna take this little guy and just line it up where I want it inside. And I'm gonna put that flap right at that top score line, but not below it. I can see it because I'm looking from the side. Just don't go below that score line, go right to it. When I'm able to close this, you'll see what I mean. I'm bringing it real close to you. See how I've got it right at that score line, but not over it. That one's a little over it. So not over it, just right to it. And then I can seal this down. This is one of my little fake gift card templates. It's just the right size so I can know when these are gonna work. So I'm gonna take this little gift card and I'm gonna slide it in. And because we did that little flap at the bottom, it catches and now we can close it inside and it's closed up inside of our card. So when the recipient gets it, when they open it, that's gonna pull their gift card out. Cute, huh? So that's how that's supposed to work. All right, now I'm gonna crease this down again because I've kind of loosened it. Now we need to decorate it. So this piece is four and a half inches wide. I'm going to split that in half at two and a quarter. I can come right here and slide my little pokey tool up a little bit and poke a hole into my score board and I will know that that hole is in the right center part of the um, project. So that way it just kind of helps you line up the middle. It's just a good trick for using your tools for something other than what they're designed for. Now I'm just going to kind of roll this around and make that hole big enough for my brad. So the brad I'm gonna use looks like a little screw. I think these were sent to me from somebody. They're really cute. And I just thought it looked kind of dad-like and I like it on this um, dark navy. So I'm gonna poke that through the hole. I know you probably wouldn't close your briefcase with a screw, but I think it's cute. But you could put a button. You don't even have to use a brad. You could just glue a button down and that would be super cute. Now the other thing I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna keep this guy closed, it really stays closed on its own. It just kind of gives a little bit like this. But I'm gonna put a piece of Velcro there. So these are the Velcro dots I'm using. I get these at Walmart. They're real easy to pick up there and you get a whole bunch of them. And they're self-adhesive. So what I've done is I've released the backing on one side. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna stick it right over the top of this brad and onto the cardstock all the way around it. Then I'm gonna release the adhesive underneath on that second part, you know, Velcro's two pieces. And it's a little bit fidgety, but I'll get it, there we go. And then I'm just going to close it. That way I know that both of those pieces are where I need them to be on the card to keep it closed. And when I open it, they'll be right where it needs to go. You stick that down really good. I'm going to take my embossing tool and just kind of rub it in to make sure it got on really good. And when you close it, you don't have to press it super hard. That way it opens really easy. So see that? Super cool. All right, this needs a handle and some cutesies. So you can see how I made this handle. And this one I tried to do where it would be kind of seamless on the card. It looks better here because it's white here. I colored the front of the other one. 
But see how it kind of grabs on both the front and the back? So when you open the card, it just kind of lives there. I was trying to do that, but I thought it really needs to be more than just that little strip. I was also trying to do this in a way that everyone could create this handle. So it's going to be confusing, but once you see it completed, it'll make sense. Now, if you have punches or if you have die cuts that you could make your own with, do that. Don't worry about trying to do it this way. Get creative with the handle, but here's an idea. Okay, I have two pieces here, okay? This one is two inches by two and three fourths. This one is two inches by five and three fourths. I'm gonna start with the small one. So this is the front handle, okay? You've not seen this one attached because I've not done it yet. We're gonna build it together right now. And we're gonna do some fancy footwork here. Our first score mark is gonna be out here at two and a half, which is a quarter inch in from the bottom. The reason I'm doing this is because I have all of this room to hold it right here. I just need to score in a quarter of an inch. But now I'm gonna turn it, because that is actually the top of my handle, okay? I just needed to do that so I could hold on to it. Now the next place I wanna score is at three fourths of an inch, right there. So basically we've scored it at one quarter and at three quarters. Now we're gonna turn it one time. Here I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna score a quarter of an inch in, which is one and three fourths. Okay, now because I can't get over here to the quarter, I'm gonna turn it and we'll score it again, one quarter inch in, which is one and three fourths. This is what I'm looking for, I'll show you. It's kind of like a little ladder at the top. This is what you're looking for. You want a quarter of an inch for the handle at the top. This space is all gonna go away and then you need this score line as well. You'll see why you need it in just a second. All right, let's do the next one. Same thing. Now this is the handle that's gonna sandwich around to make the straps of the briefcase. Here's what you need to do. First things first, I'm gonna score it at five and a half, which gets me a quarter of an inch up from the end, okay? Cause that's gonna be the top of our handle. Now I can turn it. So I need to score it at three quarters, which is the same as before, one quarter and three quarters, okay? Then I need to score it at three and three quarters. This is where it's gonna wrap over the briefcase and I don't need to do any more here. But now I need to do those quarter inch sides again. So one quarter, turn it and one quarter and turn it. Now you can get totally creative and not have to do this. This may seem way too, like way too much for you and I get it if it does, but I just thought it was cool. All right, now before I start trimming, I'm gonna take my corner rounder and at the top and the one quarter inch punch, I'm gonna corner round the tops, just the top where I have that little quarter of an inch piece. And then this one. I promise this seems confusing, but if you'll let me finish it and then watch, and then come back, it'll make more sense. Now we're gonna clean out this in the middle with our scissors, okay? So I'm gonna cut all the way up and I'm cutting in the ditch. When I tell you this, this means I'm cutting in the score mark. I don't worry about cutting it away or cutting to the side of it. I'm literally cutting in the score mark. So I'm gonna keep cutting all the way up to that quarter of an inch piece we left at the top. So just so you know, I trimmed this all the way to that quarter of an inch at the very top. Now, I'm gonna give this a little fold for a second because I'm gonna trim that away and now I can see it really well. Just gonna get in here again, I'm gonna trim it in the ditch of that score. So because it's probably killing you to understand what we've just created, I wanna show you. We've created this little strap that goes on the front of our briefcase like this. And it's scored here so it will fold when you open the card. Make it more sense? Okay, let's do the back one. All right, so this guy gets trimmed exactly the same way, but all the way down here up there. So you're basically just making yourself a strip of one quarter of an inch um, handles. This just worked in my brain. And probably in a lot of your brains, you're like, wow, that is crazy. Your brain is crazy. But this worked. And everyone I felt like could do this. Because even if you don't have a scoreboard, you could just do this with a ruler. I'll flip this over, trim this side where I can see it good. And if you don't need your handle to look this fancy, you can always do your handle a different way. Feel free. The part of this card that I think is the most fun is the way it pulls the gift card up. So now we have this. It's like um, use. <laughs> that's what we have, and that's gonna be our handles. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is attach this one. And it's gonna get attached where it's the little button is centered in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna glue it all the way up to where the top of the handle is hanging off of the briefcase. I think it's starting to make sense now that you're seeing it like this. So I'm gonna line that little score line we made at the three quarters of an inch mark right at the top and bring these guys to the flap. See that? 
so they're lined up at the flap. So there's the front. Now I want to go to the back and this time I'm going to attach this all the way on top of my handle and wrap it all the way around. So I'm going to start by gluing it here to this handle at the top. Just going to match this up. And the cool thing is that score line we made at three quarters of an inch is right where it needs to be. So you'll know when you've got it lined up good and you're just matching that top section up. Now I'm going to glue the strips down to the back. Just like so. I'm going to kind of get it straight. You can use your um, cutting mat too to help you line it up. You can stick your ruler beside it if you need it to be really super straight. Then I'm going to bring this one down, do the same thing. I'm going to use my cutting mat to help me get it straight. Super easy so far. Then I'm going to open this guy up just like this and bring these guys up here. And these will tuck under. So look how cute it looks. Look at our little briefcase. It is so adorable. I think this works perfect for a gift card. And then You'll just put dad's gift card right inside here. Matter of fact, let me put it in there so it is cute when it opens. So bring this down like so. Isn't that cute? And when you give this to dad, look. And you could add a tag. You could add all kinds of things to this to make it super personal. You could even put his initials on here if you wanted to. That would be super cute, like it's dad's little briefcase. Now, I want to point out something. If this bothers you, do you see how these are about a quarter of an inch too short? Because this was the first time I ever actually put this on, if you wanted this strip to be a little longer, do this one, um, but you do your back strip at six inches. And that way, I think you'll get a perfect lineup at the top. But guess what? I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to close it and know that it'll be super cute to give as a gift. No one's going to critique you like that. They're going to think, look at this cute briefcase you made. And it might even be super cute to add some stitches. So go crazy, make it yours. And hopefully this will help you with a little gift to give dad. And it's last minute. You can make it Saturday before you see him on Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, for all of the measurements and the score marks and everything that you'll need to make this, check the link below for the blog post. If you don't, if the blog post doesn't work when you first get to it, you can just go to our blog at maymaymadeit.com and it'll be the first blog post that you come to. So you'll be able to get all that information. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.